What if the tiniest building block of everything you see was once pictured as a solid marble, then turned out to be almost empty space? In this video, you'll travel through four classic experiments, from Dalton's gas jars to Millikan's oil drops, to see how our picture of the atom evolved. By the end, you'll be able to sketch each historical model, explain the evidence that supported it, and understand why no single model tells the whole story. In 1803, John Dalton used simple mass ratios to argue that matter is built from solid, indestructible spheres called atoms, identical within each element. Dalton's billiard ball model explains conservation of mass but says nothing about electricity or smaller pieces. Still, it gave science a starting point. The idea that matter is made of invisible, predictable units. In 1897, J.J. Thomson fired cathode rays and observed them deflect. Clear evidence of tiny, negatively charged particles he would name electrons. To keep atoms overall neutral, Thomson imagines electrons embedded in a diffuse positive pudding, the famous plum pudding model. This model sparked debate and inspired more experiments to test how accurate it really was. Then, in 1909, Rutherford's team aimed alpha particles at a thin sheet of gold foil. Most passed straight through, but a few bounced back. It was an atomic shocker. Rutherford concludes that almost all mass and positive charge sit in a compact nucleus, with electrons roaming the emptiness around it. So far, we've raced from Dalton's solid billiard ball atoms through Thompson's plum pudding electrons to Rutherford's shock-inducing nuclear model, all in under a century. Want to turn those milestones into mastery? Tap the link to access the practice test, flashcards, and study guide, then jump right back into the video. Lock in what you learned and keep going. Because the next riddle is a big one. If electrons orbit a nucleus, why doesn't the whole atom collapse? Let's see how physics answered. Classical physics says orbiting electrons should crash into the nucleus, so the story isn't finished yet. Robert Millikan delicately balances charged oil drops and measures the electron's charge. Negative 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Confirming electrons are identical, discrete particles. Combining Rutherford's nucleus with Millikan's precise charge lets scientists calculate electron mass and sets the stage for Bohr's energy levels. Across a century, simple spheres became plum pudding, then a mini solar system, each leap driven by clever experiments and critical questions. To recap, Dalton proved atoms exist, Thomson discovered electrons, Rutherford revealed the nucleus, and Millikan measured an electron's charge. Four experiments. One evolving atomic picture. Every experiment built on the last. Proof that science moves forward, not in leaps, but in layers. Now that you've watched the video, let's see how much you remember. Head to the link in the description where you'll find Quizlet, content made just for you.